dopamine. Dopamine. The dopamine circuit. Dopamine literally increases confidence and energy. I learned something new about dopamine this week. Something I think we all need to know. So adrenaline, or epinephrine for the Americans, is literally made from dopamine. You see, dopamine incentivizes the pursuit and then is converted into adrenaline that motivates you for the journey. If one is not in a place of being able to uh, set their goal on a particular lofty goal, a graduate degree, a book, etc., yet, the way one gets to that is by completing things in their immediate environment from start to finish and closing the dopaminergic loop. Right, so Sunday morning, I'm trying to have a ridiculously productive day today. So let's put these tips into action and see if they actually work. First, we need a little bit of context. So a Harvard study took 500 employees from a wide range of companies and got them to write down everything they wanted to get done that day. They asked two thirds of them to check off the lists as they went, and then half of those people to put a couple of easy tasks at the start of their list. So what did they find? The people that got those easy tasks done first were more motivated and got more done throughout the week. This week, I'm gonna do exactly what they did and work out if it'll make me more productive. Okay, I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna start with stretching, reading, then I'm gonna move on to the bigger tasks. So I'm gonna to go to the gym, plan my website, and plan my massage gun video. Okay. To understand motivation, we need to understand the relationship between dopamine and its child adrenaline. Dopamine is the driver of pursuit, pleasure and reward. I know what you're thinking. Jack, we need a fancy animated graph to understand this. But don't worry, I got you. Your tonic level of dopamine is the baseline level that tells you to seek out food when you're hungry or sex when you're horny. I'm gonna remain professional and not say that one. <laughs> tonic dopamine level equals the pathway of pursuit. Now, phasic dopamine is the pathway of the prize. It's the spike you get when you go full Bruce Bog Trotter and start chowing down on that cake. So throughout our days, we open up loads of dopamine cycles, creating loads of micro narratives or micro pursuits. When we complete one of those cycles, we get that phasic prize release of dopamine. By completing even what seem like menial tasks, like making myself a cup of coffee, completes a circuit. It closes the dopaminergic yes. circuit. And when dopamine is released, and it will be, dopamine literally increases confidence and energy. So how does that relate to the to-do lists at Harvard? By putting those easy tasks first, we're completing a couple of dopamine cycles early on in the day and getting that phasic release of dopamine. What happens next explains exactly how this boosts our motivation. Now, time for the gym. I'm sweating. Oh. I guess what I'm trying to get at with this video and with listening to Jordan Peterson and Andrew Huberman uh, talk about the relationship between dopamine and adrenaline is that motivation isn't something that you spend and then have less of at the end of the day. I find like personally that as I do more, I can do more and I get motivated while I'm doing an activity, while I'm at the gym, I'm then getting motivated to go home like I am now and then work on my website or work on my next video. I guess by trying to explain the neurochemistry behind it, 
that might help you psychologically to justify it to yourself. And if that works, then great, because that's what happens for me. When I can understand why something might happen, then it helps me to cement that into my daily life as a habit. Just like whipping up a cake with some eggs, flour, sugar, and margarine, with the recipe of dopamine and a couple of enzymes, we can energize the brain. You see, dopamine is converted into noradrenaline and adrenaline. Why does that matter? Noradrenaline and adrenaline are the brain's main source of energy, creating drive, focus, and motivation. The key thing is that we've just directed that drive, focus, and motivation with eating through the tasks on our to-do list. You see, dopamine is incentivizing the pursuit, and then when that's converted into adrenaline, it gives you energy for the journey. Cleaning out the cup and putting it on the shelf, then you've taken steps towards a, a valuable micro goal. You get a dopamine kick from that, that transforms itself into adrenaline and energizes you. It's about 5 p.m., I'm back from the gym now, and it's time to get stuck into some website work and a little bit of planning for my next video. I have just about finished working on the website, uh, making some good progress. Uh, I've not managed to do the, the video for the massage guns and to plan that out, but you know, can't win them all. I feel like it has been a very productive day, um, ticking everything off and starting small with small tasks and then working my way up to bigger ones. So we understand the science now and how should that change your day-to-day -day habits? First one is milestoning. If you're running a marathon, you've got to set milestones throughout, whether that's 10, 20, 30 kilometers. Those milestones are in micro-narrative, like we were saying. We're nesting smaller milestones within a larger task to complete that dopamine reward circuit, convert that dopamine into adrenaline, and then maintain our motivation throughout the race to keep going and finish the marathon. So when you've got a big feat, whether that's complete an Ironman or applying to law school, break that huge feat down into manageable milestones to build momentum towards that greater goal. Now that you've broken that big goal into smaller tasks, it's time to order them. You can probably guess what I'm gonna say, prioritize easy early. Don't start off your marathon training with a 30 kilometer run. Start by implementing a daily stretching routine to make sure you don't get injured in training. Get your stretches done for 10 minutes and then complete that dopamine circuit and move on. By completing those easy tasks early, you know what I'm gonna say. Dopamine converted to adrenaline. Adrenaline's there for motivation and then you can get the big feats done. Hopefully you gained some value from this video. Please hit subscribe if you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.